Why get all your holiday decorations delivered through Instacart? Because maybe you only bought two wreaths but have 12 windows. Or maybe your toddler got very eager with the advent calendar. Or maybe the inflatable snowman didn't make it through the snowstorm. Or maybe the twinkle lights aren't twinkling. Whatever the reason, this season, Instacart's here for hosts and their whole holiday haul. Get decorations from the Home Depot, CVS, and more through Instacart and enjoy free delivery on your first three orders. Service fees and terms apply. Hey, Prime members. Have you heard? You can listen to your favorite podcasts ad-free. Good news. With Amazon Music, you have access to the largest catalog of ad-free top podcasts included with your Prime membership. To start listening, download the Amazon Music app for free or go to amazon.com slash ad podcast. That's amazon.com slash ad podcast to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Welcome, Clem Cush. I'm not even going to tell you the day because it doesn't really matter the day because it may be a different day than the day that I say it is to you. You're turning into Axl Rose, man. What do you mean? Mm. Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses set to play at 930 he doesn't show up on stage until 1 a.m. Yeah, but I'm dealing with them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's end of the year. I am so absolutely inundated and busy. I mean, like literally I did get 30 good minutes of, of, of massage chair time. Thank God. I did get some of that. But, you know, I was talking to you privately about this particular project I'm trying to, you know, work on, which is a, something trying to be, I'm trying to be nice and, I'm surprised you Phil, haven't dispatched that to Merch Crick. Philanthrop. Well, I will on once I get the money aspect of it done, then I'll the design portion of it will will, will go to her. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Like, so, but I got to secure the first, you know, the first part that I talked to you about. No, I understand that, and I got like every every weekend, with the exception of Barp, I'll have to be in Ocala every weekend, with the exception of Barp. To get this track ready because this is our big, big. This is this is the one we have to we have to knock it out of the park. From now until when you have to be up there every weekend. Every weekend here, I got my calendar. I got to be here. I'll, hold on, I'll tell you right now. Boom. No, so I'll be there um, December. So I know 16th. I'm hosting the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Well, that may not. That may not. That may not. What? So. Um, I was assembling my cast and crew. Well, I know, but let me just let me just. I even sent out a tweet. I said, "Hey, anybody want to come in here and co-host?" Um, so I'll be in PR. I'm sorry, I'll be at uh, Bubba Raceway Park, Ocala Speedway, uh, December six and seven, um, December thirteen, fourteen, uh, the fifth, uh, the and the fifteenth, and the in the. But I, pro- but you know, here's the deal. I'm probably going to be back for the 16th and the and, and the 17th. Okay, check those off my motherfucking list. Probably going to be back. Yeah. And, okay. And, but I will. You're gonna. I'm just gonna have to delete gonna, that tweet I sent out. Then you're, it's. You're gonna. Ha- but you're definitely. You're definitely gonna be doing the 18th. Oh, the 18th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're definitely going to be doing the 18th. Okay, thank you for letting me know. No now, problem. No, yeah. This is like Charles Barkley finding out about that he was going to be on ESPN when he found out through Twitter. Well, no, you're not finding You're finding uh, Well, like, I don't know what I would have found out, to be honest with you. Right now. Like, I don't right think now, you word, I, word of mouth, lover. I don't think right, you would have. Word of mouth, I don't think lover. you, you would have hit your schedule at all if, uh, if if I didn't bring this up about how long you're so, going to be gone. Yeah, you're going to just basically do the 18th. Okay. That's it. I got one show in me. Yeah. That's all the people would need. Um, and then I'll be at um, the track on on the 18th. So I'll I'll leave on Sunday the 15th, and then I'll be back here 16 and 17. And then right after the show on the 17th, headed back up to Ocala. Got a huge test with a major manufacturer that day. Then I'll just and then I'll be back home. Um, I actually might have you do I might have you do 18 and 19. 
Okay, let a brother get a heads up. Just, just let me know when yeah. you... Yeah, and then I'll be back for the... I, I don't I know. I have to get my affairs in order, Bubba. Know. You know, I have to get my people. I got to get my I content. Know. I have to get my ideas. There's things I have to... I know, to, I know, baby. Things I have to do here. I know, baby. Can't just show up with... I know, lover. Whoever's normally here on a Wednesday. I know. So, tentatively, it's the 18th, but it could be the 18th and 19th. Um... Fuck me, man. I, um, are we, is this going to get Fuck us back me. on top? Yeah, back on top. This uh, number one. This race car gimmick. Yeah. Well, it's 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 yes. And then uh, I'll be in uh, Ocala the twenty twenty one twenty seven twenty eight, uh, three four ten eleven, and then um, seventeen. Eight, uh, no, I will be. I'll be back in Tampa for BARP. That bar, you know BARP, BARP sixteen seventeen and eighteen. And then, um, thanks for making it back, back, uh, for the, uh, on the, I gotta go back to, I gotta go back to, uh, Ocala on Sunday, the 19th. And then, um, I'll be up there, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I'll be up there 21, 22, 23, 24. And I'm hoping to have my mini, my little mobile, you know, my cream machine. I'm hoping that either, from my RV or from my cream machine that we've turned into a, mo- a mini mo- mobile broadcasting unit that I can be remote. And, you know, you'll probably at that point sit in my chair, you know, it'll be kind of your show for me to remote in on or my show that I'm remoting in yeah, on. Yeah, it's your show. It's your show. Okay, that Robert, you're, no big yeah, deal. I'm just letting, no, I've, I'm helping you with this. This is I know this is new to you about doing a show and not being in the studio, but I've never done it. I know, but it's really it's really what everybody does. I know. I've never done it. It's uh it's amazing, Bubba. You can do it. I know. I believe in you. Thank you. I believe in you too. Thanks. Well, thanks for moving me off all those shows. I appreciate it. Nope. It was two, buddy. I don't look, I don't even I don't know what's let's going on. Let's just let's just wing it like we never wonged, okay, kid? Okay. All right. Sounds great. Um it was kind of it was kind of cool, wasn't it? Kind of cool, just out of nowhere to get a call from Twenty Five Cent uh, this week. Um, it was it was weird. Just or last be- week, I should say. It was yesterday, Bob. Oh, my, my bad. <laughs> what the? I'm hell? fucked up, dude. I, I am fucked up, and I'm not fucked up on drugs or anything or pills. I'm just a thousand miles an hour, buddy. All right. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it was um, yesterday. It was yesterday, and I just thought it was interesting that he called the request line. Oh, I'm, I don't know if he doesn't have your phone number or, or didn't have Lummy's number or, or I don't know, didn't want to hit social media. But I just I found it interesting that he, he called the request line. And, and I, you know what? I don't think the warm line number has changed over the years. He could have very well called that because, I mean, you know, he you know, he was a co-producer and booked guest and stuff. And that number hasn't changed. So he could have very well called that. I so but does he but doesn't he have does he have your number? And I, I'm actually I wasn't sure what he wanted to uh to talk about. I wasn't I, I think he was just checking in because see, I you know, we just had our fire extinguishers recertified. Okay. And and 25's friend Buck, this big cool ass black guy, uh Oh yeah, I saw him around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, he's the one that does it's he, his company is called Always Ready Freddy and that's what they do is they recertify fire extinguishers for businesses so that you know when the fire inspector comes they see that you know, you have to get your fire extinguishers inspected every couple years. So, because eventually, if you don't, the pressure runs out of them and they won't they won't extinguish. So, the city of Tampa, uh, you know, comes every few years and checks your fire extinguishers. Well, we're due we're due to have the fire exting- the fire inspector come. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get ahead of the game and get my stuff retagged. Well, Buck was here, and when I was when Buck was here, I'm like, hey, how's 25 doing? He's like, man. He's uh he's 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 doing some electrical work. I think he might be an electrician or a or like an a like a journeyman electrician learning the trade. Uh, his mom and him still live in uh, apartments, you know, that are side by side of each other, uh, down near, you know, kind of downtown in Central. Uh, he's doing great. His mom's doing great. His mom's name's Gail. And then I told so I told Buck. I said, uh, have twenty five call me. Oh well, there you go. You that's, know, that, that's how it happened. Yeah, so I'm like, you know, have him call me. I'd I'd love to love to chit chat. Well, I didn't get. I I guess 25 didn't have my number, so he called the phone line. You know, the request lines. At that point, I got his number through 25. I'm through uh, Lummy, and then I uh, reached out to him privately. I was like, hey man, good seeing you. I mean, good talking. Let's do a show. 
He's like, man, I'm da- I'll, I'd do a show anytime. So you think he's trying to get back in? No, I don't. There's no getting. I don't have any availability. I always squeeze I, some I talent. Have, you always I, make room for I talent. Don't have, I don't have availability based on the big show. I have availability to do some one-offs, like a pod, you know, podcasting and and stuff like that. We always have availability for that, right? But so, yeah, I would be up to that. You know, bringing twenty-five in, maybe, maybe bring them in with the uh, the pigmentation guys. Well, I why I, I don't yeah why I don't that doesn't really make any sense. Why not? None of us know him. What better way to know each? I mean, what better? I mean, well, what? I don't. I mean, you have you've known the man. He's worked with you for uh, quite some time, and you're gonna th- no, no, throw I him wanna, on a I, show. That's I want to. <laughs> I want to do some podcasting with him. But what a cool dynamic is you throw a black guy in with some other black guys that he doesn't know, and you let them just black eye each other. Yeah, I guess. I guess black guys got like a certain code. Right, we're like you know, you're a brother. I'm a brother. The struggles, the struggles real. And what's your struggle? Well, I'm you know, we're in here cutting hair. But I got to talk out my hustle. Well, I got I'm I'm out here wiring you know condos up and stuff, and that's my hustle. You know, the struggles real. All right, yeah, that could happen. Maybe I don't know. We well, I would you would have to ask the pigmentation guy. Well, look, three pound peanuts that give Seth a day off and bring in twenty five. Well, here's the deal. You'd have to ask the pigmentation guys. Hey, listen. Over the years, Bubba used to have this guy, African-American dude named 25 Cent. He was the man. He was with Bubba for 15 years. Uh, he left to go do his own thing. It was not an, it was not adversarial or anything like that. But he has since, uh, he called the show, see how we were doing. And uh, and uh, Bubba's going to have him in on a podcast. Just Bubba. It, 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 yeah, I'd have him as a guest like if, inter- to interview him since I don't know him. Right. It'd be hard to just be like, hey, be part of the show. But I, I, I would definitely... I, I could definitely work him in. Yeah, there you go. If, if if he wants, he might just want to stick with me. He may not want to hang out with two um, brothers he didn't know. But what about what the people are saying about uh, more 25 and less me? That's not going to happen. Oh, shit. People say shit just to say shit. Well, it was just an idea. Just like, you know, we're in the little, we're doing a little private members only show. So, you know, when somebody throws an idea up there, they're a member. Uh, yes. Figured they should throw their idea by you. Yeah, okay. Okay. And the answer is no. <sighs> you heard it here first. I'm just saying, like, I don't want less of you in any capacity. Thank you. I mean, I like I like your role, and you're gonna your role will continue to expand. Oh no, <laughs> I already got like nine podcasts, Bubba. I know we need to probably weed a few of the shitty ones out. Oh no, I'm, on some. I'm we I'm weeding. I'm weeding. We're we're down. We're down. We're down a couple. Don't worry. <sighs> you are. Yeah, I got. Ri- I mean, yes. I mean, the I, the four I, the Ford show's gone. Okay, and um, yeah, I think there's a couple other ones that we were kind of just throwing in there every now and again that we've cut back on. I feel like, I feel like quality over quantity for for podcasting, and um, you know that's why we're giving this Tuttle, you know, Tuttle and Kristen, his ex wife. Giving them a little a little spin to see how that goes. I'm now, always down for trying something. Now I've been approached by. Let me just ask you a question. Do you think a Caitlin Hatley podcast would work without Brent? <sighs> I mean, Bubba. I don't even really. I mean, I don't know. I. I mean, she's a porn star, and she could probably get into some of the stuff that she gets into. Bubba, I don't. I don't. I. I. I think they're. I think they're. I think they're going through some stuff. Oh, I, I I don't want. I mean, I I know you kind of dug into to the Matt Joyce and Brittany's marriage a couple of weeks ago. Oh, was, on I, the air. was I right on that? Well, I don't know, but it has a hundred thousand views on um, on Instagram, which is crazy. Right, but what I'm saying is, I th- I think I'm I think I'm right on that just because of what you accentuated. Remember when you said read the words, and you know she was talking about how <laughs> I, I just I just look at the pictures. Yeah, but you're like read the words, yes. and it was like the, this has been the toughest year of my life, and I've. And this, then we find out who your true friends are, and you know the struggle's real, the whole nine yards. So, I think I, I think I sniffed that one right on out, don't you think? Oh yeah, you got you got that one. So that's uh, but yeah, so that's uh, that's where we are with that one. So should I get a hold of Caitlin? And I, I mean, I would have to, I would have to. Oh, but I, Bubba, Brent, like- I, Brent, ref, Brent refuses to go uh, on. You know, like Brent's out. Brent's out of being in the spotlight a hundred percent. But I don't. I think Caitlin is still doing. Her stuff, and you know, maybe I could, uh, you know, interview her every, you know, maybe once a month. The Kate, the Caitlin, 
the state of the Caitlin. Oh, I mean, I think I think to have Caitlin talk about you know what what's been going on in her world for you know the last month or week or any amount of time, you know, whenever I go on to your Instagram to post, um, you know, she's normally right at the top, so I know she's very active. Right, right. I, I, I just never, don't. I would never. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just, I, I just, uh, I don't know what her relationship is with Brent at the moment. Oh, I think they're good. I think they're good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Was but all right. I don't want to. Yeah. Let's not. Let you know. We won't. Whatever. I don't know. I don't really don't know. I, I, I I'll find out. I mean, just say this. Maybe I'm a little premature. I'll just find out. Okay. I'll find out. I'll reach out to her and you know or him, and ask if she'd like to you know, be part of a monthly podcast and call it the state of the. The state of the Caitlin. I mean, every anything with them works. I think our top two podcasts are, you know, with Brent and Caitlin. So having either one of them well, on, Brent's would be not well. going to be. Brent's not going to do. No, it. I, I, Bubba, I know. Okay. I talk, I talk, I texted with Brent okay. at, for something for some reason okay. after you, after you mentioned him and asked him if he was doing okay and stuff. Okay, perfect. And he is. He's fine. He's good. He's great. Thanks. 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 I've said too much. So anyway, listen. With regards to your hosting, it's going to be a moving target. <laughs> Okay, I'll stay ready like those backup quarterbacks, how they're yeah. always ready to go in the game. Who was the guy that's behind Brock Purdy that thought he'd never play? Oh, was I think Allen was his name or yeah, something you, like that? Yeah, be ready for him. Okay, all right. Be, no, just, you know what? You be Jalen Hurts. <clears throat> what is that? You mean like when he was behind Carson Wentz or just be Jalen Hurts in general? In general. Okay. I'll it, be Jalen Hurts. And he, and he kick ass? Jalen Hurts kicks ass, yeah. It's yeah. just, I just, it's a, you know. Uh, isn't he a backup? No, he's a very good starter. No, no, I'm talking about the backup for Russell Wilson that used to be a bear. Oh, Justin Fields. Yeah, be my, be my, be my Seth Fields. Okay. Because, they, because sometimes the Steelers will throw the Fields in there uh, for a decoy on like an obvious kind of like quarterback running deal. Yeah, they let him run and, the ball a few times. And, and he does, and he does well, but he fucked up. I think it might have been. La- oh, they, fuck you. They blew up the play. It wasn't him. It, against the Sealers when he slid too early. Oh yeah, that yeah, that, <laughs> was, that, a, that, that was on him. It was a, it was snowing. It was, but if he just one more step and he gets the first down, so then they, it was third instead of instead. Of, but anyway, right, let's not blame him for the. Steelers I'm not blaming woes. him for nothing. Thank you. I'm blaming. He's 100 uh, percent innocent. I think he's a great player, and I'd like for you to be him. I will be. I will world. be your Justin Fields, baby. I will rinse away your pain. It's an Enrique Iglesias song that I changed to being about Justin Fields. Did you see where the Susan Smith chick, uh, the woman that drowned in her babies, um, she, thank God she was up for parole. Thank God she drowned her babies? No, thank God she didn't get out. Oh, yeah. She, uh, parole denied. Breaking news. Parole denied for Susan Smith. But I got to tell you, man. I mean, she aged pretty well. Oh, I knew you were going to fucking start talking about how no, she looks, man. I'm just man. saying, like, I'm just saying. I like, mean, dude, she, she I can't mean, fu- who get, fuck her, man. And she's I mad at her. I don't like her. She's mad at her stupid fucking husband. Like, her husband said that she's never even apologized for, for killing the babies. For killing them. Yeah. Well, here's what she looks like. She Prison has done her pretty well as far as looks. Uh, she's been denied. Thank God she will not be out. But it, 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 there, there was a, a parole hearing. She was up for parole. How long has she been in? Thirty years. Yeah, she's been in for thirty years. I think this was the first time that she came up for parole. Is it? I feel like it's. This is like going to be Shawshank. I feel like she's going to be up for it like every every few years or something like that. Because her husband said that he's going to keep showing up at every single one, hoping that they keep denying her. Hey Alexa. How often does Susan Smith come up for parole? Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> I know I've got dumbass Lummy in here banging. All right, I'll there. look. I mean, if you want me to look up Susan Smith stuff, I can. Mm-hmm. Susan Smith. This porno. this is. I, I got. I don't. I don't know if Rhett's available or not to put this up on the screen. But this is. They did a reenactment of. of they said this bitch threw a tantrum when she found out she wasn't getting out. Oh really? Yeah. Well, she, what she did is she was seeing some other dude, and the other dude didn't like the kids because, you know, what other dude wants two fucking snotty nose little fucks, you know, around the, around the buckle brush? Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, my God. She was seeing some younger dude, and she, the, the younger dude didn't like kids, and so he's like, I can only be with you if you don't have any kids. So rather than to be a responsible, irresponsible mom and, and go to your husband and say, hey, I'm fucking some younger dude. Who doesn't like kids? She's eligible every two years. Every two years? Yeah. Wow. 
But you said that the husband said, I'll be bitch, I'll be there every two years like fucking clockwork. I mean, what's going to change? I mean, uh, like I said, I keep referencing Shawshank, you know, my favorite jail movie of all time. What's going to change between now and every two years from now? Nothing. I mean, there, I know that she's saying Just that she's formalities. A, I know she's saying she's a Christian and, you know, that she's really rehabilitated and shit, but I, I don't know. Did so, you see, by the way, they pushed the Menendez brothers uh, hearing back until January? No, I did not hear that. I saw that on TV this morning. So remember so when the they said- the new prosecutor is going to be doing it. Remember when they said they'll be home for Thanksgiving? Yeah. yeah I don't know about that. Maybe they meant Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they meant. MLK, maybe, if you're lucky. I, I just don't I, don't- I don't see Susan Smith getting out. But- never, never. But I'm going to tell you something, man. The Menendez brothers, that's 50-50, I bet you. So they did a reenactment. I don't know if Rick can throw this up. They did a reenactment of uh, of what Susan Smith did to her kids. And what they did is she went to a boat ramp and she put like a brick or something on the on the gas pedal to go in into the water with the two kids. Now listen to this. The two kids were strapped. I think they were like two and five or something. Oh, like man. They, like, you know, so they weren't even like a kid that could could unbuckle themselves and try and try but m- m- even adults once the water gets so high on the door the door becomes and all electronics don't work because they're waterlogged but well, 3 they, year 3 year old and 14 month old oh my god and so they can't unbuckle themselves and it becomes a point man once the do- the water gets so far up the door the door is so, you like can't open the it. strongest man in the world can't open the door is that why they tell you to bring those things that crack windows? Yes. Yes, it's because that's your only hope. Because you can- Nothing delivers comfort and joy quite like the unrivaled quality and taste of Omaha Steaks. This year, skip the holiday hustle and bustle and save 50% off site-wide during their cyber sale at omahasteaks.com. Plus, get a $30 reward card when you shop early and score an extra $30 off with my promo code ARMY, A-R-M-Y. With five generations of experience, Omaha Steaks consistently deliver the world's best steak experience. And their gift-giving experts have made it easy to deliver the perfect gift with thoughtfully curated gift packages starting at only $89.99. As a matter of fact, I just got my dad some Omaha steaks for his birthday and threw in the lobster tails. Try that. From legendary steaks to mouth-watering desserts and more. Save 50% off site-wide during the cyber sale at omahasteaks.com. Plus, our listeners get an extra $30 off with the promo code ARMY and a $30 reward card when you shop early. That's 50% off at omahasteaks.com. O-M-A-H-A steaks.com and an extra $30 off with the promo code ARMY. Minimum purchase may apply. Think scaling AI is hard? Think again. With Watson X, you can deploy AI across any environment. Above the clouds, helping pilots navigate flights. And on lots of clouds, helping employees automate tasks. On-prem, so designers can access proprietary data. And on the edge, so remote bank tellers can assist customers. Watson X works anywhere, so you can scale AI everywhere. Learn more at ibm.com slash Watson X. IBM. Let's create. My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be to be you can't open the door and chances are your you know your electronics on your window in your window opener is not going to work so you know and and the average person can't even kick out a window the way safety glasses made nowadays well, not a three-year-old and a 14 well, month no, no, old i mean exactly. gee, i mean this is just uh what a f- i mean just the the most that's got to be one of the worst ways so here it is i mean that and fire yeah Oh, Drowning fuck. and fire has got to be worse. So this, and fire. This, this this is a reenactment of the police did a reenactment. I don't I don't know if I have anybody to put this up or not. Um, it's right. It's pretty much just a car being submerged. You know. Yeah. We could go back to theater of the mind the old and school so, days. So here we go. Oh, they put it up. Oh, Rhett, thank, oh yeah. Thank you guys. So they put it up. Here it is. So that it, it here it goes. The car plunges into the water. 
And there, by the way, there is no sound on it. It's a three minute video. It's a three minute submerging. Oh yeah. So this is what the kids went through. No. So so thank God. You know, obviously they don't have. They I think they put. I actually do think they put dolls or something in. You know, to show you how this is like a fucked up how, ride at Universal Studios. How fast the water got to above there. You know, because as soon as it gets above their nose, hey, why, they're going to drown. Why did they? Why did anybody need to do a reenactment? I think we. I. Who doesn't understand? Just well, basic- I think they did the reenactment for the jury just well, to show you how fucking gruesome and grisly this is, and it only took three. So hold on, we're watching it now. You can see if you if you look here, you can see the water is now almost up to the gear shift. Can you see it, Seth? Yeah. yeah. All right. So now the water is over the gear shift, um, about right. It's, it's parallel with the gear shift. And the gear shift now is a. Fi- it's up to the window. It's up to the uh, even. air conditioning. So now, boom. This play by play is the not. The window, the water is now up to the past the radio and into the air conditioner vents. Now there's not even a not even a 300 pound fat ass guy like myself at this point. You can't open the door. No human being in the world can open the door. You can't. Nobody knows what's going. These they don't know what's going on. And so. I know. I'm just, just, I'm just. No, I just. This is. This is. This is. So imagine if you're a kid. You're probably still okay because your 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 head in your car seat probably I would say would go to maybe the top of the top of these headrests. Would you not? I mean, you know, you have a car seat with a kid, and you know, after they're all buckled in and stuff, probably the height of Sammy is about 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 right here. Sure, would, would be her would be her face, you know, so to speak, and so. This is how this is a reenactment of Susan Smith's act of how when she drowned when she drowned her kids, and now the water is slowly creeping in, and now the water is oh is it, is it up to the is it oh it's not up to the seat the back the fronts the fronts going before the back is but here comes the back the back starting to inch up a little bit, um and I think I think the kids are still okay. They're still okay. We're again. We're looking for the water to get as high as the headrests. That's what we think. What where we think the child's faces would be. Now you can see the water in the very bottom of the screen, inching up. Do you know that she had them in their car seats? Yeah, she had them strapped in their car seats. Oh my god! And um, so now the reason why the why you know because now look now it now you can see the bottom of the pond because it went in nose first. So, the, you know, the ass end still is a little bit up, and now you can see the bottom of the pond, and I'll tell you, the kids will probably, at this Good point, night. right, probably about right now, you're done. The kids the kids at this point are, and I got to think. Uh, Man, you do play-by-play play play on anything. You're instantly drowned. Like, you're you're instantly drowned. I uh, Yeah, with, uh, with some struggle there to try and breathe. Yeah. Just because that's... And you know what? Fuck Pearl every two years. Why don't they just put her in a car and do this? I don't know. Maybe so, it's... I mean, I, I'm all about an eye for an eye. Uh, fucking if you rip somebody off, you get your hand cut off. Maybe giving her that two years of fucking giving her something to look forward to, getting her hope up, and then fucking instantly taking it away every two years. Maybe that's, maybe that's the ultimate maybe punishment. Maybe that's even more. Maybe they... You know what they do? Maybe her therapist all... You know, because she has two years, right? So her therapist builds her up for the whole two years. Like, hey, listen, you know what? I think you're gonna be okay. Well, I don't think I that's think what therapist. No, no. I think, but no, to be to be ultra mean to her, right? So okay. She really has to really fucking suffer. So you'd be like, hey, I got an inside Iggy. I think the I think the parole board's gonna. You know, you lost. They usually have three people on a parole board, so that there's always you can't be tied. I, I think. Listen, I've talked to two of the three. I think you're in. I think you're good. And she's like, oh fuck yeah, I'm good. Only to go and get denied. And then, you know, just have it happen over and over and over again. Again and again. Then she changed there. You put a new therapist in there, be like, oh, that other bitch was crazy. But I really do know the three. I do know it's probably they're going to go for you. It's probably be, it's probably been so long. It feels maybe I don't mean I'm just maybe it feels like a dream. Maybe maybe she's convinced you to do it at this point. I don't know. I, I don't they, know. Don't man. they say that like there is a mental condition where you can do it like I could right now shoot you in the head. And get put in prison, and then there comes a point where I absolutely have myself convinced that I've not that I didn't do it. I think, yeah, yeah. isn't that along the lines of a psychopath or something, or Stockholm or something? Yeah, yeah, you know, something like that. Oh, another another uh, Mar- ex Maryland teacher 
sentenced to 30 years for having sex with student, but is only going to spend one year behind jail. But Lummy knows this. Lummy knows the stories to send you. A disgraced Maryland teacher who had sex with a teenage student nearly two dozen times. Two dozen? That's what, 24? Yeah. <laughs> was slapped with a 30-year prison sentence, but will only serve one year behind bars. Melissa Marie Curtis, 32, was handed the three-decade sentence with all but 12 months suspended. So the judge says, I'm going to suspend you to 30 years. I'm sorry, I'm going to sentence you to 30 years, but of which 29 years are suspended and only 12 months of hard time. What the fuck? Well, I don't know how all that math is, is working out, but it looked, not that this makes it absolutely any better, but it looks like, she was 22 at the time that it happened. Oh, okay. So it says she's 32 now, but it, she, she was 22 when it happened. Said Melissa Marie Curtis, 32, was handed a, th- a thirty a three decade sentence, all with 12 months suspended for engaging in sexual acts with a 14. So she was 22, and he was 14. So a 23, 20, I'm sorry, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's only eight years. What well, only eight I mean, years? Like, I mean, like Merch Crick and I got like a fifteen year difference. Right, right. But that it gets less creepier when you know somebody's you know fifty eight and somebody's you know whatever. Curtis 40, was, tw- you know. was twenty two at the time. Had sexual intercourse with a minor more than twenty times. The illicit trysts uh, occur, uh, occurring within the school, her car, several residents, including her mom's home in Montgomery Com- County, according to court documents obtained by the outlet, the convict. The convicted perv, <laughs> that's what the newspaper is calling her, uh, also gave uh, the alcohol. Oh, oh, she was pretty cool, actually. She gave the kid uh, alcohol and weed. What's better at 14 years old than a hot 22-year-old giving you weed, alcohol, and pussy? Uh, you're right, Bubba. She sounds like a but wish there were more women like her going I around. I wish I would have been, you know, yeah. subje- subjected to this at 14. Now, listen. 14 is my is my is my is my number meaning like if it's 13 I don't have nearly as much you know compassion for the lady but why do you I, always I, look I, at, I, it? at 14 man I was jacking the fuck off as hard as I could three times a day just wishing for some real live pussy why I didn't get my real I didn't get my first taste of real live pussy till I was 16 <laughs> that is and that happened on a very limited you know like every just by happenstance. Why don't you put yourself in the position of being the parent of the kid? Why do you always feel put yourself in the position of being the kid and fucking this teacher? Now you put yourself in the position of this is your kid who's fucking a 22-year-old teacher at 14 and has been given weed and alcohol. Is everything still as cool if you're if you're the kid's dad? It, if it is, it's, it's okay. I just want to know. I don't know. I don't know. If Tyler came to me and said, Dad... I'm fucking this 22-year-old, and she's giving me weed and alcohol. I think I'd have a conversation with the teacher before I turn her in. What, see if she would fuck you also? Naughty no, that, boy? That would get me in more trouble. That would get me in a lot more trouble because if the authorities found out that I did not press charges in lieu of fucking her, then I'd be in a lot of trouble. Well, and I would be ju- And her. I would be just as bad of a, of a person as she. But if I just went to her and said, hey, listen. I know what's going on here. I, it needs to stop or I'm going to turn you in. Okay? No, you won't. Bitch. I mean, I'm, yeah, I would have you you, you, you. you got, you probably got to. If, if, you, if, unless you're, if you, I don't, I don't think the cops would arrest you if you just told her to stop. And she stopped. But if she, but 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 if she, but if but if she, what do you mean? That's like saying if you if she was killing somebody, he told her to stop killing somebody. Then then she's she's just fucking your fourteen year old boy. He's got so much testosterone running through those balls. He just wants to get them drained. She wants to drain them. I it's I you know I know not in the in the average parenting scheme and the average person that like that probably doesn't work for the average person. But for me, I could go to her and say, quit fucking my son. Quit, <clears throat> quit giving them weed and alcohol, okay? And just quit. Or if I find out about it, I'm going to turn you in. This is your warning. Now, I'm not going to try to figure, although I would like to try to figure myself in to get some pussy, Seth. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. I would like to. Sure. Uh, if I was to be intellectually honest, I would like to figure pencil myself in saying, hey, listen, 
I won't say anything as long as you're giving me some pussy. Because if it was a male teacher <laughs> fucking your daughter, then you would definitely still oh. want to have a conversation with him too. Right, boo boo. No, I'd throw the fucking book at that motherfucker. Sick would bastard. Would you throw an atlas you know, at him? I, I, I would maybe shoot him myself. If I had a 14-year-old daughter and 22-year-old little young stud fucking PE teacher was fucking my daughter, I, yeah. I would absolutely come unglued. Well, I know. Well, that. I have a daughter, so I still, I got to put myself in the position I got of having a, a son. But, but I got a son, and it's it's a very much a different thing. I don't think it's a different it's thing a when it comes to a, a, a 22-year-old. Sammy at 14 is not going to be as horny as my son at 14. Girls don't get, girls aren't wired like that. Us guys want to jack off and be horny as fuck at 14. And girls at 14 are just figuring shit out. Like they're just starting to have their periods. And they're just, you know, they're not, they're not as sexually pent up as us 14 year old boys. All right. I don't know how scientific that, that statement is. I'm, I'm, take your, but just I'm take sure they're real sexually life, active, you know. Take your real life experience. I mean, you're so horny that you jacked off at the content. So house. that's what big deal. I'm not j- jacking off. You're acting like it's, it's in- interfering with my life. It was a nightcap. I know. I mean, it was, it was a, hard, it was a but victimless at, crime. Well, I'm sorry. Gary was the victim, <laughs> but I mean, it was, it, but I, at 14, how much were you jacking I, off? I, Bubba, I didn't start, I didn't jack off the, for the first time until I was 15. Okay, but, okay, so one year removed from there. But I wasn't like, but I, 15, I wasn't trying to get my balls drained twenty four seven. Man, I, know, I was living what, life. What if, what if? What if? I want you to be fucking honest here. What if at fifteen, you had a twenty three year old hot school teacher that wanted to drain your balls, fuck this shit out of you, give you weed and and, and alcohol, and just you know take you around the farm all the time? Like you're gonna try to tell me that you. One, she couldn't physically overpower you, but two, that you wouldn't be just absolutely so. Because because when you're when you're fourteen, fifteen, no, I'd be too. I'd be too you're, scared. And you're jacking off. All you're, you're all you are yearning for is a really piece a re, a real piece of live pussy. I was okay just seeing titties on TV, Bubba. Really, I really. No, I mean, wasn't. I wanted real pussy. Yeah, I understand. Probably a lot of people do, but I was really just you know, I was to me it was I kind of got eased into the process. That's why I'm not such a, a nasty deviant like you. Mm. But I mean, if she, if this was my son, I'd go to her and say, "Listen, you know, give me a little pussy." First of all, no more pussy for my son. No more. Okay. Like you can't fuck him. All right. But maybe if you want to, we can do like a wrap up series here where you give me six pieces, and I won't say nothing. See, that's what I'd really like to do, but responsibly, that could get me in trouble. Yes, yeah. And so I have a different outlook on life nowadays. I don't live nearly as reckless as I used to. And so I would say, listen, I'd like to get some pussy off you, but I can't. Because then now I'm now I'm just as bad as you are. What if she's like, I would never fuck you? Well, now I'm turning you in for saying that. <laughs> okay. You you better you you better at least you're like you, listen I I want to fuck you but I can't okay I mean the, you better you better be saying I'm pretty fucking sexy and hot and rugged you better learn how to play the game then I'd be like listen I can't fuck you but I want I don't want you fucking my son no more and so it's over no we, more no more correspondence I'm gonna check his phone all the time and if it stops now then until I'm not gonna go to the authorities but if you continue on uh, then I'm gonna have to tell you to tell the cops on you. I just want to uh, address we taught it who said, uh, Seth, I like you, but why couldn't you go the entire weekend without jerking off? I, I don't. Why I don't, not? I, listen, I, I, I don't. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't. I don't pocket watch, and I. I don't. I don't check when other guys jerk off. You know, to me, that's that's their own business. But uh, you know, but our but our fans are enamored with your jerking off skills. Yeah. Well, you know what? Why? I mean, I don't know. I don't know why people jerk off. I. I, I don't know why. But. Um, Oh, uh, I know why. Because you get that nut. I, Bubba. Yeah, I know. But if you, oh, if you, I'll sorry. give you guys my uh, my jerk off schedule from here on out, and uh, hopefully you guys will approve of <laughs> the know dates what? and I, times. Here's the thing. I got something. I don't jerk off nearly enough. I really wish I jerked off more. Okay. Well, I mean, I that's... mean, I, but I don't have time to jerk off, and then you know. By the time it's time for me to jerk off, I got the crick there. They're ready to, you know, ready to fucking take care Bubba, of me. Every, I mean, literally, the crick, you know, <laughs> she's just me always there every, every day. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't, I don't even like, you know, can't you like to give you, her a break? Well, let me ask you a question. If your wife would say, honey, don't jerk off, just fuck me, what would you do? Every day, every day, if you're, if Phoebe said, honey, you don't have to jerk off, I'll, I'll fuck you, what would you do? Probably do the fucking. Right. And she didn't give you any fucking crap about it. She was into it. 
and you know put you over. Well, I, listen, I mean, they should, my, my girl puts me over clean in the middle. Well, I, I like, well, I, I'm well. I'm, I, I, I got a feeling you got a couple run in DQs that happen on your deal. I do. I mean, listen. There's uh, times. There's you know. There's times of the month. There's. I mean that does uh, also bo- that bogs me down a little bit. I don't like. I don't enter. Into, I don't enter into the red zone. Yeah. There's. Uh. There's that. That there's, bogs me down. There's also you know kids I, having having to get you know getting your woman in the mood and not just being like hey you know come jump on top of me. I, I've had to learn you know about that. So I mean there's. There's stuff that has to go you into got, it. You got far more of a setup than I do. Well, I, I mine's a little more barbaric. Well, I well, I used to have a you know I, I used to be a schedule and I I did that for so long. But really? It, well, not a schedule, but it's like <clears throat> hey, you know, I just would set it up through like a text, and you know, now I've I've learned that you kind of got to maybe do some stuff around the house, or you know, maybe like do load some the dish, rub- like like load the dishwasher and maybe <laughs> throw, throw some laundry, and then that gets you some maybe buzz. something, maybe just something light, like taking the garbage out, yeah, and then the maybe garbage out. She recognizes that, then she's sucking. Yeah, just like a lot of you know loving and all that stuff, and then I think that uh, I think that tra- I think that translates. I I I finally had to realize that you know me just showing up. Doesn't necessarily make my wife want to jump on top of me, right? So I'm willing to do you know what I need to do to give her that feeling. But in the meantime, when you're not doing that stuff, you're jerking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No big deal. See the reason why I see I get that shit. I just like I'll just text her and say, "Be ready for me. Be showered up and ready. I'll be home in 15 minutes." Yeah, that's uh, that's that's. Um, then, then I walk in. And the bedroom's, you know, fucking dimly lit with some candles, and she's, you know, already got her vibrator out, going you know, pre, like do like getting her little pre pre you know pre partying. Okay. Then uh, usually I'll jump in the shower, so you know, because I've been sitting here getting swamp ass for four or five hours, and then you know then uh, uh, we fuck. Okay, yeah, that's that's how it happens. When's the last time that happened for you? Uh, but I don't know, like maybe a f- few days ago. Really? Now, is it ever like really tantric, real good, like naughty fucking, or is it just you know let's let's break this off and get it done because we got the we got the little mini me right around the you know we got her we got her bamboozled for a little bit, but it's only she's only going to stay bamboozled for so long because she's very inquisitive. Wait, I'm sorry. What was the question? The question is: Is it deep naughty love making? Hot, you know, naughty, nasty sex, fish hooking. Oh my God, no, def, de- no, 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 uh, no, beth, no, no, breath deprivation. <clears throat> no, 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 smacking that ass. Yeah, I don't. There's not putting there, a collar, uh, uh, choke, maybe a ch- one of those gag balls on there. I don't have any. No, I don't have any of that stuff. Um, you know, I just it, just straight hop on. Let me get my nut before old girl comes around the corner. Um, I guess, I guess, Bubba, I guess it's, I guess it's like that. Is it an hour long? No, no, no. We've, I've got a, I got a job. Other, other responsibilities. Mm. Don't have time. I don't have an hour. Oh, I do. Yeah, no, that's, congratulations. Then I'll re-shower and take a bunch of pills and pass the fuck out. Hell yeah, dude. That's a great dude. It's a great, I I mean, I, I am, I am not bitching about my life at all. I don't have a lot of money. I don't make a lot of money. In fact, I'm losing money. But you know what? I'm having a good time losing money. Well, that's all that matters. So I'm, I mean, my company's going to lose money this year, uh, but I got enough in reserves for us to make it another year or two. What what company? This company? Bubba Radio Network. Hell yeah. So, I mean, you know, whatever. So we lose money this year. We got, we got a little bit of a savings. And everybody gets their ring and I think payroll cleared today. Yeah, cool. Clem Kush. Man, first time we never played the uh, the song. French Kiss. That's our new song, buddy. What happened to Fuck Boy? Oh, I, for, I, can, I forgot. You fuck know, I know. Boy. That's what I'm saying. We don't have to play it, I'm just saying. We'll play it next week. Okay.